Keep it going for Crystal, everybody. Right? This is a hot show so far. And not just up here. I mean, I'm looking out now. This is a gorgeous audience. And keep it going for yourselves for being so damn good looking. Right? Um, a little about me. I'm visually impaired. It's, it's okay. You guys can laugh. It's, I can hear great. <laughs> You all laugh like super attractive people. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm legally blind, which is this weird middle ground. Like, my eyes are good enough that you won't win an Oscar for playing me. <laughs> but bad enough where all porn is scrambled porn. <laughs> like, good enough that I'm still addicted to checking my phone, but bad enough where everyone thinks that I'm smelling it. <laughs> It's the difference between Stevie Wonder and Stevie Wonder why that guy keeps smelling his phone. <laughs> and growing up, like, I just wanted to be a normal kid, which in the 90s meant refusing to acknowledge anything unique about yourself. <laughs> so when they recommended I get a magnifying glass, I was like, I'm perfectly happy underperforming in school. <laughs> They suggested I learn Braille, but Braille class was on the same night as guitar lessons. And only one of those skills makes me more like John Mayer. <laughs> and everyone begged me, begged me to get a white cane. My mom was even like, it's not for you. It's so that drivers know you can't see when crossing the street. The rest of the time, just pretend it's for something else. <laughs> A white cane? <laughs> what am I, a tap dancer before Labor Day? <laughs> I was so scared that people would know the truth that I came up with the most brilliant cover. Every time I got caught doing something blind, I just pretended I was an idiot. <laughs> Which works uncomfortably well. <laughs> I guess it's relatable, because everyone's friends with at least one idiot. <laughs> um, and the rest of the time, I just turn partial blindness into a game. Like, fun challenges, like wax fruit versus real fruit. <laughs> or guess who you're currently talking to. <laughs> uh, nothing makes lunch more exciting than a little salad bar roulette. <laughs> some days you get cauliflower, some days you get feta. <laughs> You know you're visually impaired when you can tell salad ingredients by spoon feel. <laughs> Scoop it, jiggle it, it's got that garbanzo ring to it. I kick dogs. It's not a game, that one's more of a warning to everyone who doesn't pay attention to their tiny sidewalk colored dogs. <laughs> But my favorite visually impaired game, I just call it Death Wish. And Death Wish is a game when you try to cross a busy street, but you can't see the traffic light. So you look at the person crossing next to you and ask yourself, does this person have a Death Wish? I want to see if you guys would survive, so we'll do a little simulation. I'm going to say some types of people, and if you think they're safe to cross with, shout out, I'm alive! <laughs> and if not, you get to shout out, DEATH WISH! <laughs> get it? Great, I only have five minutes. So, uh, <laughs> you're standing on the edge of an eight-lane boulevard. Cars are speeding by at 60 miles an hour. You look to your left and you see an old man with a walker. Death Wish! Yeah, Death Wish! <laughs> you see two girls with short hair. I'm alive. I'm alive. Death Wish. <laughs> no judgment, it's personal experience. <laughs> but you see a teenage boy smoking a cigarette? Death Wish. No. <laughs> the world is full of mysteries. <laughs> but dads with strollers? Wow. Yeah, they're terrified. <laughs> but moms with strollers? Yes, yes, yes. Death Wish, yes. They're the worst. Latte in one hand, prancing across the street like their baby's a force field. The last time I trusted a death mom, I got stranded on the median for 30 minutes. <laughs> which is more than long enough to realize none of this would have happened if I took the white cane. <laughs> Thank you, guys.
Thank <laughs> you.